This is Four Minutes, a chair dance, choreographed by me, Laura Rittenhouse. It's a 32 count seated line dance. Uh, the, it's only one wall, as all my chair dances. You don't turn when you're sitting. The music is Four Minutes by Madonna, Justin Timberlake, and Timbaland. I'm gonna do a walkthrough. I will show first steps and counts while standing, and then while I'm sitting down, I will show you the arm gestures. So I do arm choreography for all my seated dances. So no matter which limbs work for you, you can get something out of this dance. All right, start out standing far enough back from whatever you're holding to where you don't kick. You can, of course, hold just the, a cane or the arm of the chair. But if you're holding a walker or a chair, make sure you've got enough leg room. Okay, and we start going to the right. We push our right foot out, step back to the center. Push left foot out, step back to the center. Two heel digs, dig right heel forward, step back to the center, left heel forward, step back to the center. Then we do heel swivels, first singles, then doubles. So swivel our right heel out, back to the center, left heel out, back to the center, both heels, out, in, out, in. We then do a cross touch, cross right over left, touching our foot, and then return to center, cross left over right, Step back at center, do that again. Cross touch, step back at center, cross touch, step back at center. So you shift your weight after each of those. And to finish up, your weight is on your left, you're going to do two forward diagonal steps. You step forward at a right diagonal, touch with your left, step back to center with your left, step with your right. You have shifted your weight. So you went step, touch, step, step. You do that again. Step up to the left, touch with the right, step back to the right, step with the left. We've had to step, so our weight is shifted so we can start over again because that's the end of the wall. Okay, now with the counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Okay, now sitting down. Seated, when I say right, I will actually go to the left. It's going to look like you're right. So treat this like a mirror. That's how I teach it in class so people can see me and move with me. So move with me, not in the direction of the leg, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be stepping left when you're stepping right. Starting out, pushing your leg out to the side, match with your arm, push out, keep your wrist flexed so you're like pushing against the wall, back to center and put your hand on your lap. The other direction, out to the side with arm and leg, back to center. Then we do our heel digs forward, dig out with your heel, push your hand forward, palm flex, like stop. Back to center, returning your hand to your knee, out with the heel and the palm, back to center. Then you do your heel swivels. As you swivel your heel out, take the palm of your hand out, back to center, return the palm to your leg, out, back to your leg. Then when we do the double swivels, put your arms up, form fists, so your forearms are parallel, and as your heels go out, your elbows go out, you cross your fists, so that's out, and you see it makes like a scissor movement from the fist to the heel. So out, in, out, in. Next step is when you cross your foot. So you're crossing your right foot over your left as you're punching with your right fist in front of your left. So that's punch and touch, back to center. Punch the other direction, back to center. Punch again, back to center, punch again, back to center. And we finish with our two diagonal steps. As you step up on the diagonal, raise your hands up. When you touch, clap, return to center, bring your hands down, and as you step at the center, clap. Up, touch, center, clap. And that's it. Your hands go back on your knee, ready for your next push. That's the end of the wall, that's the end of the dance.
Feel free to make any modifications. Use as much of your arms or your legs as you can, as you're willing to. Uh, it's probably easiest if you're going to use both to learn one first and then the other. It is a bit confusing, especially if you're an experienced line dancer trying to get all these different movements in. But feel free to modify anything, arms or le legs, to skip anything. This is about getting you moving, keeping you active, so you have my permission to make any mods that work for you. Just keep moving and just have fun. Madonna, uh, you gotta get on my hop. 